Hello, I'm Dr. Philip Fowler with Anti-Aging Northwest, and this is going to be our BPC-157 reconstitution video. We've got here a vial of bacteriostatic water, which we're going to use. We'll need six milliliters of this. We've got our BPC-157, which is currently a lyophilized powder in a vial, and we're going to turn this back into a sterile injectable solution. So we've got our two vials. We've got our reconstituting syringe. As I've said in other videos, anytime you pick up a syringe that has a screw on needle, the first thing you want to do is give it a little tighten. So what we need to do is take six mils of this, six milliliters of this, and put it into this vial in a sterile clean fashion. We're going to take off these two caps. Okay. We're going to use an alcohol wipe to clean the tops of the two caps. Give them a good wipe. We're going to let those dry for just a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this one upside down. We're going to draw six milliliters of bacteriostatic water, and we're going to place it in here. The tricky part is when we come to here, there's a strong vacuum in here usually, and we want to hold that plunger and let it down slowly. And I'll tell you more about that as we get there. All right, let's go ahead and draw up our six mils of bacteriostatic water. I'm going to go ahead and start by putting some air into that vial just to make my draw easier. So I'm going to press that air in, and now it'll draw real easy. I'm going to go right to the six milliliter mark, and I'm measuring with the top of the black plunger where it meets the syringe wall. I've got exactly six mils there. Oh, incorrect, I have seven mils. I'm going to press out one mil. Here we go. So. There's a strong vacuum in here. If I just put this needle in there, this plunger is going to rock it to the bottom and I'm gonna power wash my peptides. They're delicate and I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is hold tightly to the plunger itself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in, I'm gripping that plunger very tight, tighter than you think you'd need to. And I'm gonna to angle to the glass wall and then I'm gonna slowly let that plunger down. This way I'm adding the water without hurting the peptides. If you accidentally power wash your peptides, it's not tragic, but we'd rather do it that way. Okay, we don't shake. Again, peptides are delicate, we swirl. So we're just gonna swirl this a little bit. We're gonna go upside down. About 30, 35 seconds, this will turn into a nice clear solution, and then we're ready to inject. Once your peptide has been reconstituted, at that point on, you want to refrigerate it between each use. If you leave it out overnight one night, again, not tragic, but not optimal. Don't let it get in the sun at all, and certainly don't let it get hot. But if it sat out at room temperature one night, it's not tragic. So there we have it. It's fully reconstituted and ready to inject. I'll see you in our next video where we'll teach you how to inject BPC-157.